How's it going everyone? It's Ben Falcons Media Corner back again with a brand new video for today. Welcome back to the movie review aka for a soul review video for today. This time for this new episode for the series is going to be my review on the 2021 superhero film. And this film is the third installment to this uh, film series based off the Hasbro toy line. And this film is also a spin-off to that film series as well. And this is going to be my review on Snake Eyes. Now this comes to us from the director of Insurgent as well as A Legion, which both of them are the Divergent sequels. And, is, and this also comes to us from the director of R.I.P.D. And this film is basically a spin-off to this uh, film series known as G.I. Joe, which of course is uh, based off the, ha uh, which is of course this famous Hasbro, to Hasbro toy line, in which we've had two films before that were released back in 2009 and 2013. So now we have a newer film, but this one's a spin-off, and this is a spin-off to that film series and of, the, of that series. And this film is a origin story of one of the of one of the characters that's based off the Hasbro toy line, in which this film centers on Snake Eyes, in which in this film he's portrayed by um, Henry Golding, in which uh, the story of the film is that. Uh, after he saves an high apparent of this of this uh, Japanese clan, uh, they take uh, Snake Eyes in and basically train him train him to become a ninja warrior. However, when secrets of his past are revealed, Snake Eyes' um, honor and allegiance are tested, even if that means losing the trust of those around him. So that's pretty much the story of Snake Eyes. Now, when it comes to the two previous G.I. Joe films that we did get before, which were, of course, The Rise of Cobra and Retaliation, I never really watched those films when they first came out or anything like that, but I did watch both of those films from preparation for this, just to basically know what G.I. Joe is all about. And because um, when I was a kid, I never really grew up with anything with G.I. Joe. Like, I never watched the cartoon show. Show, and I never really played with the toys or anything like that but after watching both of the previous two films that we did get before I thought both of them were just okay films and they're certainly on the greatest films or anything like that but once I saw the trailers for this movie I just honestly did not know what to expect from this one in the slightest but I was pretty intrigued to see what Henry Golding was going to do for this film because he he has done action be action before like he was in uh, The Gentleman which I had a great time with that film but I mostly kind of see this actor doing like different types of roles mostly romantic roles like he was in Crazy Rich Asians one of my favorite romantic comedies of the, of the last decade and Last Christmas which I enjoyed that one so I was pretty intrigued to see what he's going to do for this film and I didn't even know much of the much of the other actors who were in the film except for you yeah, have uh, Samara Weaving who's also in this film so I was pretty intrigued to see what she was going to do for this film and uh, this film didn't come out in July in 2021 in the UK but it came out the next month which was August in 2021 and I didn't see this film on opening day because I was doing something else because I was actually celebrating my birthday because it came out on my, on my birthday this film but I didn't see it on opening day or anything like that but I went to see this the next day which was after my birthday and there wasn't that much people on the screen that I was in but there was just a little amount of people in the screen that I was in though but after watching this whole movie I gotta say here guys that this one was also another okay entry to the G.I. Joe film series here. The things that I did like in Snake Eyes was the acting. Um, Henry Golding was really good in the film as Snake Eyes. I thought he gave us all a performance here. And when it comes to him doing the action in this film, I thought the action scenes for the most part in the film were pretty enjoyable. Like there was a there was some enjoyable moments of action scenes here and there in this film. Like there's a good amount of samurai and gunplay in this film, which I thought some of some moments like that were pretty enjoyable enough here. And as for the actors who were in the film, like you've got um Samara Weaving, I thought she was a badass in the film and she was pretty cool to watch for the action scenes and everyone else I thought they all gave solid performances enough for their characters in this film and for the production sets of the film I thought they were pretty cool like there's um, like we get like the Japanese clan area where they train um, snake eyes to become a ninja warrior I thought all of that looks pretty cool as well as like other sets set in Japan and all that I thought that all of that looked pretty cool as well However, when it comes to the direction in this film, like the action scenes, like there are some, like there are some that were passable enough, but there was a few that I didn't, I felt like weren't even all that great. Like there's some shaky cam in this film, which I wasn't really a fan of while I was watching this film. And there was also not so good editing choices as well in this film and all of that, which that's another issue I did have with the film, along with it's some messy directed action scenes and all that. And when it comes to moments outside of its action and all that, when there's no samurai gunplay happening in the film, like when, when it cuts to moments with like secondary characters when they're giving off some dialogue moments, that's another weak aspect I do have with that with this film because when it comes to moments like that, I kind of felt were a bit boring and all of that. But overall, in the end, guys, Snake Eyes, I didn't have too much to say about this film because this was just overall another okay entry to the G.I. Joe film series here. But I could definitely say it wasn't all that bad, like some critics were making it out to be or, or anything like that. Because, like I said, there was some stuff I did like in this film, but there was just overall some issues I do have with this film along the way here. But there are a few ways I would recommend this film. If you're a fan of G.I. Joe or you're a fan of, like, action movies that has, like, samurai on gunplay or anything like that, or you're a fan of the, this character from G.I. Joe or you're a fan of the cast, this may be one for yourselves here. And if you miss chance to see this in cinemas back in 2021 it is available to watch at home on demand here so that's pretty much all I, all I have to say about snake eyes i'm gonna give snake eyes two and a half out of five
yeah, like I said, I thought this movie was just overall okay here. And it's definitely not as bad as like some critics were making it out to be or anything like that. Because, like I said, there was some stuff I did enjoy in this film. But there are definitely issues I do have with this film along the way here. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching for my AK after I saw review on Snake Eyes. And let me know what you think of this movie. If you have seen this already or if you just recently checked out this film. Did you have a blast with this? Or was this not really a popcorn treat? As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And this has been Foggins Media Corner signing off.